Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. Best friend, we gotta talk because Diddy, things just got way worse for him girl. So listen, grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button. Uh, speaking about snacks, I will be doing my crumble cookie review towards the end of this video so stay tuned for that. But yes, best friend, now we got to be a little more serious because this is a very serious topic. Of course, I want to say it's all alleged. Nothing has been obviously confirmed. So you, you know how I have to do it, alleged. Um, but TMZ just put out an article about uh, a new lawsuit with one of former Danity Kane stars, Dawn Richard. She is now suing Diddy. And this is what uh, TMZ reported. Well, best friend, things just got a lot worse for Diddy. He has now been sued once again by Danity Kane's Don Richard. Diddy is facing yet another lawsuit from a new accuser, a former bandmate who claims the music mogul belittled, terrorized, and uh, S.A. her while also witnessed him savagely beat his ex, Cassie. According to the suit obtained by TMZ, Don Richard says she got she got caught in Diddy's web as a participant on his 2004 MTV show Making the Band with the Bad Boy CEO manipulating her by promising to advance her singing career if she relented hit to his alleged twisted demands. The former Danity Kane member said during on-set auditions, Diddy called female contestants fat, ugly bitches and hoes. She said Diddy had particular disdain for her because she was young and excited to work with such a famous person. In 2005, the court docs say Richard saw another of Diddy's former girlfriends, Kim Porter, crying as she left a music studio with her face all banged up. It was then Richard says she realized Diddy was capable of violence and her life could be in danger. A year later, Richard was present when Diddy was first introduced to Cassie, invading her space while transfixed on her in a predatory fashion. According to the docs in 2009, she says she personally witnessed Diddy high on drugs, uh, threw, uh, throw Cassie against a wall, choke her, and drag her up a flight of stairs in his L.A. home. Richard says Diddy also hurled a scalding pan of eggs at Cassie while yelling, I've been asking you for my shit. I can't stand you, bitch. You never do it right. On other occasions, Richard says Diddy soaked Cassie, socked Cassie in the face and wrapped his hands around her throat, attempting to strangle her inside his LA mansion. At some point, Richard says she and others, including her Diddy Dirty Money bandmate, Kalina Harper, show their support to Cassie and advise her to leave Diddy, who found out about the conversation and threatened, y'all bitches don't get in my relationship, adding, don't tell my bitch Cassie what she needs to be doing. She just, she just make money and shut the F up. I an artist. I shelve art careers. You could be missing. You bitches want to <laughs> today. Meanwhile, Richard says she too became a victim of Diddy's A, forcing her to rehearse 48 hours at a time without sleep. As a result, she says she dropped a lot of weight and became dehydrated and fatigued while suffering awful rashes. She says one time Diddy demanded she come to his Miami home where he was only wearing underwear. When she asked him to put on clothes, Diddy refused, screaming, this is my effing house. Diddy's treatment of Richards got worse. She says between 2009 and 2011, Richard said Diddy once barged into her dressing room while she was uh, not clothed at his recording studio. She says Diddy inappropriately <laughs> her <laughs> and her. <laughs> uh, Diddy, she says she also uh, she says also logged her in a car with heavily tinted windows for two hours as she screamed for help, even calling her dad for help. Richards claims her dad traveled from Baltimore to New York to free his daughter and confront Diddy, threatening to report him to the police. But she says Diddy told her dad, think about your daughter and think about your daughter's career. We reached out to Diddy's rep. So far, no word back. 
So, of course, you know, this is all alleged, but it's not looking good. That's what I got to say about that. So, best friend, obviously, this is insane. I told you guys that things were just going to get worse for Diddy. Um, I, he has not spoken out about this. I will definitely keep you guys updated. But what do you guys think about this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um... It's insane. It's insane, best friend. But I'm telling you, I think in Hollywood, there's going to be there's going to be such a huge uproar. And I think what's coming is insane. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I did just want to offer a lot of light and a lot of hope to those who are going through DV situations. You guys know that. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, DV. Yeah, sorry. Um, you guys know that I... I love you. I'm always offering a safe place for you guys. And just know that you are worthy of a good life without anyone disrespecting you in any capacity. So I love you all. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super grateful for you guys. Here is my crumble cookie review to lighten things up a little bit. And of course, I will keep you guys updated with anything else that comes out of, uh, you know, towards Diddy. So I love you all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Hello, best friend. It is crumble cookie. Sorry, bitch. I just got a lactate in my mouth. Ooh, girl. Ugh. It needs nasty. It is crumble cookie time. Okay, best friend, listen. I am so excited for this crumble cookie, bitch. Uh, my husband already tried him. He has his favorites, but I will tell you mine. Okay, so listen. Let's start this with this tres leches that my husband says it's amazing. So I'm gonna try it, girl. I love Tres Leches. And he said it's pumpkin flavored, bitch. And you know I am a pumpkin hoe. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, I don't love it. No! So <clears throat> this part, the Tres Leches part is amazing. I just don't think I love this creamy part on top. But this part right here, that's amazing. But the, the cream, no. Oh, I don't like something from Crumble? What happened to me, bitch? Okay, in, in spirit of not liking things, I know I'm not gonna like this either, which is the lemon, the lemon cake one. I don't like citrus desserts, so, but anyways, girl, let's just try it. Oh my God! Making my way downtown, walking fast, places passing, I'm homebound. Girl, it tastes delicious! What has happened? Is it opposite day, bitch? Why am I liking things that I shouldn't be liking? Girl, anyways, <laughs> this is the biscotti uh, cookie. So I've seen a lot of reviews about this one and people are like, oh, it's good. And then other people are saying, oh, it's not good, bitch. And I'm just like, girl, what in the Gypsy Rose is going on here? Um, hello? Is the flavor in here with us? Uh, uh, what you mean? Crumba? You forgot to add the flavor in this cookie, bitch. It tastes like Mama June's cooking. Girl, it tastes like nothing. What the hell? Girl, I don't know if whoever made this week's crumble cookie is sexually frustrated or what the hell is going on, girl. But you did not do it this week, girl. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is the Oreo one. It is gorgeous. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 It's crispy, which is different for crumble. I like it. It tastes really, really good. Okay. This one I'm very excited about because I love peanut butter. So cheers. Mmm. 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 I'll make love to you like you want me to. Tastes delicious. Tastes like peanut butter. It tastes like if you woke up at four in the morning, you went to your kitchen, you grab a spoon, you just fucking deep throw that shit into your mouth, girl, you know, the peanut butter. Ooh, <clears throat> delicious. 
And then this is the chocolate chunk cookie, which, you know, we all had it before, girl. It is what it is. Like, this is, this is very basic. Why does crumble cookie always want to include this one? But it is beautiful, though. Let's try this. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm going to tell you something. This week's crumble was a flop. I was, I'm sorry, girl. It was a damn flop. It, no flavors are sticking out. You know, like nothing is really happening. It is giving very basic. It is giving very much like someone needs a red bull someone needs a red bull creativity someone needs to go spend you know someone needs to go spend a, a night at willy wonka's chocolate factory because this week girl crumble i am a little disappointed in you bitch i really am and i'm not trying to go all karen on you but i need to speak to the manager bitch um anyways girl that was the review not impressed i'm gonna give this whole review a probably a five out of ten it was not great my favorite cookie was the peanut butter. The rest, honestly, it can go bye-bye-bye. Anyways, girl, what do we think? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next review.